Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite host and poet, B, and welcome to season two of Soul Untapped. Janelle, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Welcome. Welcome to the Soul Tree fam. Welcome to Soul Untapped. Happy to have you. What have you been doing, like, musically in Philly? I know we've been in the pandemic and A, B, and C, but what do you do, you know, to really just get yourself out there? Um, actually music has kind of been going pretty well, which I'm very grateful for. I had my first show, live show back in Philly, I think it was mid July with, uh, Art C Philly. It's this, um, collective and I was at Dock Street Brewery down in South Philly and it was such a good night. It was a sold out show. So I'm doing that. I sing twice a week at the Xfinity Live Casino in South Philly, next to the Philly Stadium. Uh, I have my all-female band. I just finished recording my EP. Um, I'm writing, writing for some artists. So, you know, I'm like doing my thing, I'm getting things together. Okay, you are really booked and busy. I did not expect a loaded answer like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely busy. Cool, cool, I love it, I love it. Um. Tell us a little more about your music. Tell us about your sound. Like, what, what what kind of music do we have? People that don't know you that are looking forward to hearing tonight. So, I have two singles out currently. Uh, they're called Plus One and Late Night, and those are straight R and B. If you listen to them, you'll hear a lot of Timbaland and Aaliyah influence in the production. Um, a lot of if there's any production junkie uh, production junkies watching this, a lot of Rodney Jerkins influence. Uh, and plus one, which is my first single. Um, and vocally, it's a lot of Destiny's Child influence. So it's a lot of layered vocals. I love layering my vocals. I love stacking harmonies. Um, and plus one is definitely a breakup song and late night is kind of like a, it's like a slow love song. But for my uh, EP coming out next month, it's definitely more pop because it's a mixture of all of my influences in one. So it kind of takes you through all the emotions up and down and I'm really excited to put that project out. Nice, nice. Well, you know what, we would definitely talk more about that, but let's start with your first song. Okay, um, the first song I'm gonna do is called Late Night. And I released this the very beginning of February uh, 2021. Yes, we're still in 2021. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Girl, same. Uh, February 2021. Uh, it is written, uh, co-produced, uh, arranged, and vocal arranged by me. And it, the production engineering is by my engineer, Benny Hennessy. He is in Philadelphia and he is a very, very sick engineer. So I'm very excited to perform this song. Hot day, it's me I was wondering if you were thinking of me Wrong time, it's cool Baby, you can do you and I'll do me too Waiting all night I guess I'm gonna wait all night It's nothing to be waiting all night I guess I'm gonna wait long, long as it's on you. Oh, 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 babe, I know it's got to lay, but I'm thinking of ya. And oh, 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 babe, I know it's got to lay to be thinking about if what we're doing is wrong or right. I got you on my mind. Don't waste no time thinking about if what we're doing is wrong. And oh, oh, oh baby, I know it's kind of late, but I'm thinking of ya. We keeping it too innocent, cause I know that you're so into it. Yeah, this love here ain't no little kid shit. And how could I forget the way you kiss my lips? Waiting all night. I guess I'm gonna wait all night. It's nothing to be waiting all night. I guess I'm gonna wait as long as it's on you. Oh, oh, oh babe, I know it's kind of late. But I'm thinking 
First off, your voice is beautiful. Second, it's very Thank cast. Thank you so much. I, I, I caught myself singing Thank along, you. pretending I knew the words. I'm just like, oh, I got this, I got this. Very good. Um, oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> of course. What, what was the inspiration behind that one? Or who? Um, okay. You're trying to see <laughs> <tear> now. <laughs> Hard hitting question. Um, so yes, it's about a guy and it's it's pretty simple. It was literally about me waiting up for the go to go see him at night. So yeah, it's waiting all night to go see this guy on the late night. Frick. <laughs> but nice now. Um when you know I'm interested because especially the way that you say, you know, like your inspirations are and the way you like to stack your vocals and layer and A, B, and C. Now, how do you how does that start? Like, what's the what's the little baby idea to what becomes this full single? Um, I definitely, so I'm like sitting at the piano right now. I start with just piano and main vocals. Like every single idea. I come up with the entire idea for production before I get to the studio, but it always starts with just piano and just my voice. And then after I've written the song top to bottom is when I can even think about adding any harmonies. But the harmonies came super natural because I didn't really think of them until I got into the studio. So it was kind of on a whim, the harmonies. They just flowed super easily. I didn't want too much to overpower anything because it's a nice slow song. Um, but yeah, every song I have just starts at the piano and um, it's either I'm just playing random songs. I hear a chord and I'm like, oh, that one hit me and I want to build off that. And that's how it usually starts. Uh, but whatever is on my heart or on my mind is what I wind up writing about at the time. I hear that. I definitely do. How long have you been playing piano? Uh, six years now. Yeah, six years. Nice. What got you into starting piano? You. Were you singing first or um, playing piano It's actually, first? no, I was singing first. Um, it's actually kind of funny because in high school, so I was always a choir kid growing up. And um, in high school, when we would have choir during uh, school time, there would always be a piano in the middle and kids would go up and play and the people would gather around and I would just get jealous. I'm like, uh-uh, I want to do that. Like, I can do that. And I want people to come watch me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I started teaching myself piano, but um, I became so obsessed with it. I started like skipping classes in high school and I would lock myself in a practice room and just watch tutorials of hand placements and chords and I would just be teaching myself all different songs and then it, I just took a little bit of theory and yeah now I play piano. Nice nice I wish I wish I went your route I started in college and I did the same thing like oh I didn't cut class because I was paying for those classes but like I, I would I took a piano class and then I would go into our practice rooms and just sit there for hours and like watch how to play certain mm -hmm. songs and I get onto it and then I just Never stuck to it, so I'm not as far down the road oh. as you. Dope. I know. I'm, I'm always saying too, like, damn, I really want to get back to it because I genuinely did enjoy it. But oh, I, I, I'm I, sure you could. It, it's not too late. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> but I love how you know you you're able to you know add your own kind of instrumentals and essentially put more of your heart into it because it's not just your words and it's not just your voice. It's also you know, everything else you're creating, which makes it that much more beautiful when you're creating music. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's definitely a whole culmination. It, it starts with just the keys and voice, but I tell him, he's like, what kind of beat are you thinking? And I'm just like, 
you hear the beat in one in a million like i'm thinking that type of beat and uh i want it to sound super like spatial and just easy going and fall like so the whole ambiance and the aura of it you can get it in the feel of the song so it's i love how just the idea comes from just piano and this and me just like being on the piano to this whole idea that other people can envision and relate to it's really crazy to me yes it's again dope now how does um now tell me about this band that you have how does that all tie in mm, so my band's name so i'm a solo artist and then they'll uh accompany me at shows they're called the new normal and it's an all-female band it took months to find all of these musicians because there are not many female musicians in philadelphia at all it took forever, like many, many months. I was posting everywhere, asking all my friends and they didn't know anyone. It was just a bunch of men. Cause I, my first band was all male and that didn't exactly work out how I wanted. So um, I was like, let me try it the other way. And I love it so much. My guitarist, Corinne, uh, she's featured on my EP. Uh, my bassist, Jamika, who also is a killer singer and my uh, drummer, Kaya and we started rehearsing, I think, yeah, we started rehearsing in quarantine because I was going crazy. I had to do something to keep myself motivated. And I was like, you guys like wanna start rehearsals now before anything opens up. So we started in like December, January of, uh, yeah, I think this late December, 2020, we were starting rehearsals. Nice. And so when, when, when you're performing throughout the week, they're with you every time? Um, no, not every performance because uh, it's either certain venues, they might not have the budget for a band or the sound system for a band. So lately what I've been experiencing is a lot of venues just want me with track and vocals. Mm -hmm. um, but that's why I'm so excited that uh, I found a new place for us to perform at in November called Lita and the Swan in Philly. And um, they want to house the whole band. So I'm super excited to put it's going to be the first, no, the second show anyone's ever seen of the new, of my new band. So I'm super excited to put that together and get them out there. Dope. Dope. Very okay. dope. All right. Now I definitely, next thing I want to talk to you about is the EP, but we're going to break this up a little bit. So if you could give us our second song and then we're going to get into that. Okay. EP. Okay. Um, so my second song will be my single plus one. Uh, this is my first song I ever, it's not the first song I wrote, but it's the first song I ever released that I ever felt was good enough to release. And this one, have you ever been ghosted? Yeah. I think we would all relate. Yeah, this is about yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, it's the worst thing. And this is literally about this man I was talking to for four months, just fell off the face of the earth Ouch. and ghosted me. Yeah, yeah, it hit me hard. And but I got my baby out of the song. It's the closer at all of my shows. It's super fun to perform. Uh, and yeah, plus one is just about like you thinking you know someone you don't really know them. And so it's just like, oh, you're going through the motions. Like you cry, you try to forget. And I came up with a beautiful song out of it. So I'm really blessed about that. But uh, it was a hard song to come up with. It was a hard song to create for sure. <laughs> Been a while we met up, oh, what am I waiting for? See you out with friends, oh, oh, what am I waiting for? This time it's hard to see you happy without me. You could have been plus one, but now that's done. I tried to forget, but now I just cry. It's not in my head. I see how you lie. I'm wondering why instead of just how. I'm messed up with you up now. I tried to forget the feeling we had. It's not in my head. It wasn't all bad. Oh, we were too. And now we're through. 
Take your time, I'm waiting. Oh, who am I? What have I become? Been a while, I'm chasing. Oh, someone I'll never know. But I see potential. Do you see me? Show your credentials. So I believe one day I'll wake up and you will be here. But until that day, I tried to forget. But now I just cry, it's not in my head. I see how you lie. I'm wondering why instead of just how I messed up and you changed up now. I tried to forget the feeling we had. It's not in my head, it wasn't all bad. Oh, we were two, and now we're through. I'm wasting time. On someone who don't see what I can bring is deep. All in all, in and out, up and down and back around, I still stand. No thanks to you. I know I said to take your time, but mine is wearing thin. Letting go was dangerous. Look at where I've been. You could have been postponed, but now that's done. I tried to forget, but now I just cry. It's not in my head. I see how you lie. I'm wondering why instead of just how. I messed up, but you changed up now. I tried to forget the feeling we had. It's not in my head. It wasn't all bad. Oh, we were two. And now we're through. Mm. If anybody cool. watching want to find homeboy and jump him, shoot me a message. We got this. Torches and pitchforks. <laughs> now we got you. Stop! 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 I forgave <laughs> him. It's okay. He doesn't know I forgave him, but I forgave him. I did it. You opened up a wound for me, so now I want to fight. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I I appreciate that, and that's okay. I'm gonna let you not forgive him. Oh <laughs> uh, man. But all right, EP, EP, you said you're switching, you know, you're kind of like moving over the sound a little bit. It's more pop, yeah. a little less vocal. How many, for, let's start with tracks. How many tracks are you dropping on this EP? There's five tracks. Um, So it's a, so it's going to be a self-titled. This is going to be like my first time speaking about this because uh, I haven't posted it anywhere yet. But it's a self-titled. It's going to be called Janelle um, because I miss in the early 2000s and even the 90s where um, an artist's debut project was a self-titled. It was like their declaration to the music industry. So it meant a lot to me to do the same thing and model it after uh, people that I really inspire me, that I look up to within the industry. Um, it's five tracks, all written originals by me, co-produced by me. Um, and I have some background vocal arranging done by my good friend Cordell. Uh, I have my guitarist Corinne on a lot of the tracks. I have another guitarist named Kenny RP on the tracks. And um, it's kind of a whirlwind of emotions. It has to do with mental health and me having mental uh, breakdowns to uh, a guy leaving me to uh, me feeling comfortable on my own as like an F you. And uh, I feel like a lot of people will be able to relate to it. And I hope people like it sonically because I put my heart on it. And when, when are we expecting the release of Janelle? So as of right now, the projected release date is October 29th. Ooh, all right, all right. We're, we're tiptoeing there. We're about a month away. Yes. Yeah, I know, really I'm so excited. We haven't asked. So where will we be able to not only find your EP, but songs that you performed tonight, all your other music, where can we find you at? Um, so my name is titled J A N E L and you can find me on any streaming platform you can think of Apple music title, Spotify, um, iHeartRadio, Google play, um, audio Mac, SoundCloud, YouTube, anything you can think of. I am there and I have two singles out right now called plus one and late night. Please go listen to them and stream them and wait for my music coming next month. Yes, and how about your socials? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Sconex. Yes, MySpace. yes. 
J -J. Like me. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Christian Mingo, where are we finding you, Janelle? Get Noah. No, not Christian Mingo. <laughs> no. Um, oh my God. Yo, you're a bird for that. <laughs> okay. Um, so all my social medias are at the T H E underscore Janelle J A N E L underscore at the underscore Janelle underscore or on all social medias. Except for Facebook, it's at the Janelle ninety eight, uh, but every other streaming platform and uh, social media is at the underscore Janelle underscore. All right, perfect. And you see, we're gonna have some people that's gonna be trying to find you, trying to find your music. You can't be ducking and dodging everybody. Not yes. after. Oh no, I'm not up. ducking and dodging. I'm not. I welcome it all. Message me. Tell me how you feel. Ask her for the address of you know plus one's subject. You are taking this too far. Oh, I, I listen. I come here to host, make trouble, poke some fun, make some more trouble. Okay, well, I love it. Welcome. <laughs> I love your whole vibe, though. I really do. Likewise, very much. Likewise, I'm definitely got. I got to make it out to Philly to check you out. Check Jose out. Jose, I could definitely say, really always brings the dope talent from Philly. I'm just like, damn, y'all got a lot of really good talent hiding in that city. No, Philly is getting put on the map, let me tell you. Like, especially very recently right now, so many Philly artists are getting booked to open up for big people who are on tour, coming to Philly, and they're getting their names out, and it's really inspiring to see. Yes, and without a doubt, you will be one of them. I'll wait. As soon, Actually, as, soon yes, as they're able to hear Janelle's voice above the gunshot. Yes. <laughs> Um, in October, October 22nd, actually a week before my EP drops, um, I got asked to open for Devin Baldwin while she's, she signed to Sony while she's on tour. So in center city at milk boy, it's a venue. I'll be opening up for her while she's on tour in Philly. So I, there'll be more details coming out leading up to that, but it's a super huge opportunity. So I'm excited. Ooh, ooh we love this for you. We love this journey. You see, I told you. Thank undoubtedly you. You, you will be blowing it out the park so now before thank you before we get into your last song for tonight you know you talked about 90s and 2000s inspiration name a few artists that inspire not just your sound but your upcoming ep mm, okay um it's a little controversial but my i feel like my main not not just musical more artist my artist influence and uh, inspiration is kanye um i really grew i really really grew up on him and it's just the way that he will bear his soul for everyone doesn't matter who you are what you think he will put it all on the line good or bad you know f up or not and it's so admirable. And so that's what I'm trying to do with this EP is just put every single thing on the line, put my emotions out there, regardless if it's controversial and regardless, uh, cause it's my story, you know, it's my, it's my feelings. It's what I went through. And if I went through it, there's someone else out there who went through the same thing. So um, Kanye is a top one. I'd have to say Amy Winehouse is a second uh, for her writing style. And I'd say performance wise would be Rihanna. Oh girl, you have taste. You see, I knew I messed with you. I knew I messed okay, with you. Okay, stop it. Don't mess I with mean, me. Listen, don't even with the Kanye because you are actually the second person this season and you're the second episode we filmed this season. So everybody this season saying Kanye. Really? Yeah, huh. and also even as a no, poet. Because so. Okay, period. No, I have to. I have to connect with you after this. For sure. Now that pen, and I was just telling the, you know, when we were recording the last episode talking about Kanye, I still remember, I'll never forget when I first heard Kanye, it was daylight savings time. I was, MTV okay. played music and not ridiculousness all day. And I remember yes. when I first seen the video to Through the Wire and I'm just like, Ooh. actually that song inspired, like part of that, part of that song inspired one of my main poems. And I'm just like, yo, this man. You know, the, the level is of crazy. genius to get outside of yourself in such a traumatic and then make a song that is crazy right. 
Like I know that man is batshit crazy now and I, I really don't mess with a lot of stuff he's doing. But when you talk about the music and what he's done up and from college music. dropout to now, that man is a, a genius. That's it. And he's a lyrical yes, genius and that pen, that pen be penning. And I, one thing that I'm gonna always do is respect somebody's pen. And then especially when you say and Amy Winehouse to too, you. because Amy Winehouse's style of writing and a lot of her songs, I'll just be sitting there like, girl, we gonna cry together. I don't got a reason to, just give me one now. Her pen is literally ridiculous and she is the reason why I write the way I do. Cause I write from very only personal experience. She writes from personal experience. It's super honest, super bearing and when I started, cause when I started to discover my own voice and like how I sounded and my tone wise, is when I started to sing her songs. I didn't like the way I sounded until I started to sing Amy Winehouse songs. And I was like, uh uh, wait, maybe there's something there because like, this sounds really good. She made me like my own voice. I love that. We're really gonna navigate away from this, but I'm really liking picking your brain. Give me, give me two of your top Amy Winehouse songs. Number one is Take the Box. Okay. And uh, number two, I'm gonna have to say for writing and how clever it is, is uh, Cherry. Oh, wow. None, none to be expected to be top two, but okay, I like you, I like you. See, one, hey. one thing I definitely gotta say is love is a losing game. I think even before I ever like, could relate to it, I just be sitting there like, you right, girl, <laughs> show it. Oh, and then Sam Smith did a, you know what? We, we're gonna have this conversation after this because I'm really taking away yes, from you. Yes. You gotta get into that Sam Smith cover too because, mm, mm. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, she's ridiculous. She's so good and so, so missed. She's someone I wish I could meet. Absolutely. But you are on your way to that greatness with your pen and I see it already in the writing. So if you can bless us with your final song for this lovely session. Okay. Um, this last song I'm going to be doing, it's called What's the Deal? And it's actually a sneak peek off of my EP that's coming out next month. So uh, this song, again, is uh, composed, arranged, um, and written by me. And it was co-produced and 100% uh, engineered by Benny Hennessy, who's so, so talented. And... This song, this is the only song I've written that's probably not about someone specific. It was just, I was sitting at the piano and I was like mad. And it's just like, uh-uh, like get off my back. and get like, stop keeping me on my toes. So uh, this song is super fun for me to perform all the time because it's, it can be about anyone. And yeah, with that, I'll get on with it. I feel like someone's watching. It's not just wanted something So close I feel you on me yeah. Not nice, you're rude, get off me I shouldn't have to say that Baby, you should find your way back Do you think that this is payback? If you hate me, then just say that. But instead, you keep me on my toes, like I'm in my heels, blowing up my phone. Can you pay my bills? Done with all this back and forth, just tell me what's the deal. Now I'm in my feelings, tell me, did you get your feel? Yeah, you keep me on my toes, like I'm in my heels, blowing up my phone. Can you pay my bills? Done with all this back and forth, just tell me what's the deal. Now I'm in my feelings, tell me, did you get your feel? My emotions felt alive. Long as you was there, I was fine. Come to find you, don't waste your time. Going through the motions, tell the lies. Now you think you're ready, but I'm fine. Was it real? You gave up the appeal. Don't want to hear you speak. I know that you've been missing my mistake. Don't you say my name, because you're used to playing games. I wanted you to change, but instead you keep me on my toes. Like I'm in my heels, blowing up my phone. Can you pay my bills? Done with all this back and forth, just tell me what's the deal. Now I'm in my feelings, tell me, did you get your fill? Yeah, you keep me on my toes. Like I'm in my heels, blowing up my phone. 
Can you pay my bills? Done with all this back and forth. Just tell me what's the deal. Now I'm in my feelings. Tell me, did you get your fill? Ooh, on my toes. Tell me what's the deal. Yes, 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 yes. If you got something to warm us up for the EP, that was it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very much welcome. Thank you. I like that a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. That's the first time I ever performed that for anyone. Oh, yeah. So we're getting a whole bunch of exclusives tonight. Look at you blessing us. Okay. Yes. Yo, you heard it here first. We got the scoop on the EP. We got a preview of the EP. All right, yeah, all right. Coming out October 29th. So please keep an eye out for that on all my social medias at the underscore Janelle underscore. And follow me. I will follow back. Message me your thoughts on my songs. How it made you feel? I love talking to people about music. So yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely not. Anything, anything else you wanna you wanna share? Anything you wanna tell to your audience watching before you bid us farewell? Um, one, thank you so much for having me, Solar Tree. Like, I feel like you guys have really become such a supportive family. Um, I'm so thankful that you guys always want to push my stuff. You always have something doing and you want to work with me. And I would love to always show up for you guys. So thank you for having me, first and foremost, number one. Um, number two, again, I have a show. If you keep up with me on my social medias, I have a show coming up, opening up for a big artist named Devin Baldwin uh, at Milk Boy, October 22nd. I'll be posting flyers about that coming very soon. I have an EP coming the week after, October 29th. And if you would like to see myself perform live with my full all-female band, you can catch us at Lita and the Swan in November. So please keep up with me on social media for more details. Nice, nice, nice. And listen, one way, shape, or form, I'm gonna catch you out there. I'm gonna see you in Philly. Please, yes. Definitely want to Yes, see I would love that. And see what y'all got for sure. Thank you. Thank you again. And you know, like you said, we will always continue to support and welcome to the family. You got, you know, you got Jose who's super supportive. You got me who's like you're gonna be probably your annoying older brother that's shorter than you, that's gonna want to beat everybody up, but still support you. So <laughs> no, but I appreciate it. I feel the love. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Soul and Tap. If you like what you saw and want to rewatch or catch any other episodes, make sure to follow us on facebook.com slash solartree, Instagram at solartree underscore, and catch us on YouTube. Just look up solartree and catch everything Soul and Tap.